This is Xavier Hacking for HackingSAP.com and Interdops. And in this video, I want to have a look at debugging in the SAP Analytics Cloud. So you might have seen in the last release of SAC, we now have something called the unified mode, the unified story mode. And this basically means that we now have a combination of the classic stories with the analytic applications. So that means that within the story where you can uh, use drag and drop and binding uh, widgets to a data source, um, you can now also add your own scripts without having to rebuild the whole application in an al analytical application within SSC. So yeah, that, that's great news. Um, I think a lot of people will be using these scripts from now on and with that, um, debugging scripting uh, that, that you create becomes more important well in this video I'll uh, I want to show you how you could do that so let's first set up a very very simple story just to um, show you the concepts so I'm going to add an radio button group just to have a widget that we can do some scripting on and in addition, I want to have um, a text component. And in my script, I want to uh, show the value that I just selected here from the, uh, the radio button group into this text uh, widget. So I'll add a simple script to this. For example, something like this. Uh, I create a local variable something like this and I want to uh, put that into my text widget um, apply text of course and there we have our simple script so if I save this and run it Then after making a selection, all well, the text is displayed in the, the text widget. So that's nice. But now let's see how we can do some um, analysis or debugging on what's actually happening in the script. So very simple, uh, what you could do, you could create a log by using console.log and putting in the variable that you want to see here. And if I do something like this and save this and run the application, well, what I now would have to do is go to the development tools in Chrome and go to the console tab. And if I now make a selection here, then my console.log that I just created will be displaying yeah, the, the, the content of this variable. So that's a very simple way to, yeah, to see what is happening in, in uh, your scripting, in your variables. What you also could do is go to the debugger in the DevTools. You will find that on the sources. And here we can see the scripts that are part of the application. Uh, for example, in this tab here, I can find my radio button group on select script that I just created here in, uh, in SAC. It's basically this one here. And here I can put in breakpoints so that's a place where the, the, the script will stop. For example, I can do that here on line, line five. And if I then make a selection, then you'll see that the, the text isn't changing here. But I do see the selected value here in this, uh, in this debugger. Uh, what, what I even can do, I can even make a change to this. So for example, I can yeah, put in here a uh, value 999 
And if I then continue the script by clicking on this uh, resume script option, then you see my, my adjusted value is now used in the script and it's shown here in the, um, yeah, in, in the result in my text widget. And I'm also seeing it here in the uh, console log because yeah, this line of code is also still executed with my adjusted uh, variable value. These breakpoints, yeah, you can also remove them, of course, by clicking them again. I can also put those in the script. So what I can do here, I can type in a debugger like this. And if I now execute the application, um, to make this work, I would have to add something at the end of this uh, URL. So I would have to put in debug is true, execute it again, then go to the dev tools. And if I now click on my radio button group, then you see that the script is stopped at my you know, debugger break that I just put in in the script itself. And here I can do similar things. I can see what is uh, currently in my um, variable. So you can also see that by hovering over this here, or I can see it here on the right side. And what I also can do is put in watch points. So I can, for example, put in this variable. And then I can follow that value of, of what is, whatever is in this variable um, yeah, throughout the script that I'm executing. Um, well, of course, for this simple example, this doesn't make much much sense, but let's say you have a lot of scripts and a lot of lines of code, then it might be interesting to uh, to put in these, uh, these watches. You can also do stuff like this. For example, see all the details of this widget, add them to the watch. And now I see all kinds of attributes, uh, for example, the ID of this particular object. So that's just a quick video on debugging in SEC. Good luck.